This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 1st, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had an X1.4 solar flare from region 3697. Yet again, yet another X flare from AR3697. A flare is an eruption of energy from the sun that generally lasts minutes to hours. Flares of this magnitude are not frequent. The flare peaked at 8.48 UTC time. Let's keep that in mind. Users of high-frequency HF radio signals may experience temporary degradation or complete loss of signal on much of the sunlit side of Earth. Do you think this is why they canceled the launch? This was published at 13.40 UTC time. And again, we're talking about an X 1.4 solar flare at 8.48 UTC time. No CME was detected in chronographic imagery. I will agree with that. Another X flare earth directed with no CME. Over to our goes X-ray flux a satellite that's just a few hundred miles supposedly above Earth's surface with the sun being 93.3 million miles away we have an x 1.4 flare at 8:48 or peaking at 8:48 utc time seen right here all right over to space weather live we definitely have numbers coming in all over the boards here we see x 1.43 here we see x 1.3 definitely a sign to our very complex Sunspot AR3697. That sunspot is currently beta, delta, gamma, as complex as we know of. We have a 35% chance of an X flare. We can make that a 100% chance now. And a 75% chance of an M flare. We're running around a C2 baseline here. We've had no other significant flares except for late yesterday we had the X 1.1. As 3697 becomes more Earth facing each day, these flares become more dangerous for Earth. Although again, they say no coronal mass ejection was created, I guess from either flare. Let's take a look. Over to HMI and Tensogram. As gentlemen, here we are. AR3697 giving us all the trouble. I expect we'll see some more trouble out of AR3691 and 3698. But for now, this is the culprit. Very complex. And it's becoming more and more earth-facing as the minutes go by. This was taken earlier today. So it's even more so earth-facing uh, when it actually popped off. So a little bit earlier view, earlier in the day. And we can see basically that there's really only seven Earth-facing sunspots. Although we know what the backside looks like. It looks like a nightmare. It's all headed around. Now we know we had X flares and X 1.1 or about 2200 UTC time last night. It's like a camera impact right around that time, but no CME. It was picked up on our GOES satellite. And then again around 840. Let's see if we can get there. Absolutely no CME. Something shooting across the sky there. So I do not like how our lens uh, holder cover lights, uh, lights up like that right here. You can see something is being hidden from us there or well i'm not quite sure but something wrong there and there's really no time missing no chrome mass ejections anytime one of these 
X flares is earth facing period. You would expect to see a halo eruption, definitely earthbound. Here is the eruption on STO AIA at 131 angstroms. You can see it's directly earth facing and more than strange that no chromal mass ejection was created. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. Well, there's that hit right there. It's the last of it, A59. And it was over all the Middle East, a lot of Africa, a lot of Russia, and the whole Russian states and Western Europe. So, the Mediterranean area for sure. And again, we've been maintaining a sea flare all day. I believe that's the only intensive flare that we're looking for right there. D region absorption prediction says that the X rays hit Earth. Something's coming this way. All right, over to our solar dynamic observatory. We're going to look for that flare coming from this direction. I've already set it up and slowed it down. Uh, first, we're going to look to the left at 193 angstroms, easily seen. Not so easy to see at 171 angstroms. Let's take a look. Bam! Very easy to see there, guys. Again, watch it one more time, and then we'll go over to the other one. Bam! Very easy to see. Probably a little bit too far up. All right, let's get going here. See if we can see it. Should be right in here. Bam! We did see it. 171 angstroms. So we're actually able to see it from both. Both STO. There it was again. Directly earth facing. Pretty much. We also see all the other sunspots coming around the limb here that will soon be named. Wow, looking at STO HMI magnetogram image, this sunspot is just enormous. It is definitely enormous. It's beta delta gamma, and it is configured regularly with the negative over the positive, although it is huge. Uh, this looks like a very dangerous sunspot as well. I believe that's our other old friend. This looks like a reverse polarity sunspot here with the negative, i.e. black, over the white in the northern hemisphere. Should ne never see that, and I believe this is the northern hemisphere. Very hard to tell. That would be reverse polarity as well. They're supposed to be few and far between, but it's like we see them every day. All right, Soho taking the day at 6.06 this morning. This was just central time. Uh, this was just lit up. This is our other friend that was so fun on its last, uh, well, pass, uh, earth-facing pass. And here are some of the large sunspots coming around that are about to be named here. It's going to be another fun week. And ending up over at NASA, NASA's Goodard Iswa Spiral. We see they have modeled the CME and they have it headed off to hit maybe Bepi. It seems to be able to go to the back side with so many of the other, other uh, satellites here on the back side. So amazing, we can't get pictures from back there, right? Earth is this yellow dot here. And we are being hit by plasma on about the 8th, which is ridiculous. That's seven days from now. You can see it up here. It's the last day it shows. And there's the impact right there. You can see the plasma hitting right here. I don't know what would generate plasma. It would take eight days to hit Earth. Completely ridiculous. God bless you and yours. Please share. You can see it hitting here as well. If you didn't see it. Boom. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarre world. God bless you all.